Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll show you how to write CSV files in Python. So in yesterday's video, I showed you how to read CSV files, and today's video will be kind of the inverse of that, writing them. So you'll see that there's a similar style used in both to either read or write to CSV. So to start, I need to import the CSV module. And then what I'll do is I'll open up a file in the typical Python way. So what I want to do is open and I'll create a file. I'll call this mycsv.csv. Open it to write. And I also need to open it with no new line. And I'll create this as F. Then what I want to do is create a writer object so I can actually write rows to the CSV file. So to do that, I'll create the object. I'll give it a name. Let's say the writer and it's going to be CSV, the CSV module, and then writer. And then you just pass in the file that you just created. So in this case, the file is F, the file object for mycsv.csv. And then after that, you can start writing rows. So the writer dot write row, and you simply pass in a list and the items in the list will be converted to columns in the CSV. So I'll call this call one, call two, call three and then I'll write an actual row so that was kind of like the header so one two three okay so if I run this so Python script and then I take a look at the my CSV file that I just created I see call one call two call three and then one two three so fairly straightforward if I created a loop here, so for I in, let's say range one to 100, or yeah, one to 100, I'm going to write the same row over and over and over again, and refresh my CSV, and you see the rows get written there. So it's pretty straightforward how you can write rows to a CSV in the typical way. If you want to use the situation where you have the dict reader analogous situation, then you use the dict writer. So to do that, instead of having writer here, you use dict writer, and you're going to have to pass in some field names. So the field names in this case will be the, the headers. So the field names will be a list and it will be in order of the the, the columns will be in the order of the list that you specify. So this will make sense once I show it. But field names is what I'm going to call it. And I'll spell it out completely. So column one, column two, column three. So now that I have the writer, the first thing I want to do is write the header. So instead of having this write row, call one, call two, call three, I can no longer do that. So I call the writer dot write header and that's going to write my column one column two column three and then to write the actual rows I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to pass in a dictionary instead of a list with the keys being either column one column two and column three so these need to be unique in the dictionary so it will look like this so column one is going to be equal to one and then I'll do column three because the order doesn't matter it will be three and then column two two so now if I run this and I forgot the field names so I need to pass these field names to the dict writer so that's pretty important otherwise the right header doesn't make any sense so field names equals field names so the parameter is called field names and of course the list that I just created is called field name as well so I'll run it and then I'll take a look at my CSV again. So now I see column one, column two, column three. Even though I put column three before column two in the dictionary, column three appears after column two in the CSV file because dictionaries are unordered and it's using this order that you use in the field names here. So this is where the order is determined. If I switch this up a little bit and put column two over here, so. Let me just add the commas in the right spot. And then I run it. 
then I will see column three is in the middle and then column two is last. And of course, if I want to write more rows, then I just, for I in range, I just loop over something. And in this case, it's going to be the same. I'll put one other one. So the keys will be the same, but the values will be different. So let's take a look at this now. And I forgot the colon there. So I'll run it. And now I take a look and I see one, two, three, one, three, two, four, six, five, because of the order that I specify. But you can see that it's writing rows to the CSV file. So that's all I want to show you about how to write to CSV files in Python. As you can see, it's just as straightforward as reading. It's just the inverse operation. So if you have any questions about this, you can leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.